If y'all are anything like me, y'all grew up on the regular bananas that we see in stores. But guess what? They're gone. They're about to go extinct, c'est la vie. But guess what? We got some even better for you. And today I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it. Because we almost alkaline. Yay. Almost alkaline. Yay. Yay. <laughs> ja. Rastafero. Blessings of Wholeness family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akeem Pierre. If you're new, welcome to The Vibe. Today we're going to be trying a little bit of a different episode. We're going to be highlighting one specific food, in this case the burro banana. And we're going to go into why I like it, how you can, where you can find it, how you pick it and how you know when it's ripe, and also go into how we can use it. So without further ado, let's go see these burro bananas, get a closer look at them, and then get a little bit more information. So this right here is a ripe burro banana. I first fell in love with burro bananas when I saw them in Africa all over the place when I was in Tanzania, Zanzibar. I saw these bananas more than I saw regular bananas. And then when I went to St. Lucia, it was the same thing. And then when I started to look into Dr. Sebi and his list, I saw that he had burro bananas on the list. And that led me to doing a little bit of research which led me to realize that the regular bananas that we now know and that we probably all grew up on, they're going extinct. And that's because there's no genetic variation. So every single one of those bananas that we have in stores has the same genetics. And that's because they basically clone billions of bananas and we're eating the same variation of the banana over and over. So when a virus comes, it's able to attack them all. And since there's no diversity, none of them are gonna survive. So Hey, we gotta find a new alternative, and this right here is the perfect alternative. This right here is my favorite because it's like the mix of a banana and the plantain all in one. Because you can eat it in this form while it's nice and ripe, or you could cook it and it's gonna be just like a, like a potato or like plantains when it's in this form. So we're gonna go through ways to utilize it in all these different forms in this video. But first, if you go to the grocery store, and you see one of these burro bananas, it may look good, but make sure you squeeze it. It's gotta be just a little bit soft. I found that in the grocery stores here in America, if they're not soft, they may not be ready. They may be hard inside. So we gotta be aware of these bananas because they're not genetically produced to be perfect bananas like the other ones are. So we gotta be a little bit more particular when picking these. And you may also find the banana come in a form like this. And if it's this dark, it's actually, some people may say it's at its best. This is when it's nice and dark and still soft. This is gonna be the sweetest of all sweetest. This is gonna be very sweet. And this one has no sweetness at all. So just depending on how you like it, I personally love it in all its forms, but it's all depending on how you like it. And where can you find these bananas? I found that these bananas are most commonly found in Asian supermarkets. Asian supermarkets are, are they the plug? Like to be honest, they got so many of these blessed items. So go check out your local Asian supermarket. And now we're gonna go into how you can prepare these. And I love them so much because you can eat them raw. You could boil them, you could fry them, you could bake them, you could dry them, you could do whatever you want with them. They're so versatile. So having some of these on hand, you just, you know, you have one of these, you could just choose to do like one of six different things with it. So without further ado, let's get into some recipes to show y'all how we can make the most of these beautiful bananas. So the first recipe we're going to be making is going to utilize these green burro bananas and it's called the mofongo, which I'm pretty sure it's a Puerto Rican or Dominican dish. All I know is I had it one time while I was in Orlando. Ooh, amazing. But we're going to peel this and we're going to boil it and it's basically going to be mashed burro bananas served with a stew on top. So let's see how we cut these bananas first off. Boom, so here's our banana. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off. And cut the top off, then we're gonna give it a little slit here. And then we bring our hands in here. These ones are a little bit more tricky to peel. We're just gonna bring our hands and slide through and just peel this skin off.
love, 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 love. So next up, we're gonna go in on some fried plantains. These work really well on the side of food, like say on the side of a stew, in a sandwich. Ooh, actually on a sandwich is probably its best. But today we're gonna put this on the side of a stew. So we're just gonna cut this open and this one is so much easier. You don't need a knife. It's just like a regular banana as we know it. It peels so easily. So we're gonna go ahead, peel these and then slice it into strips, fry these up. You could bake them, but for today we're gonna fry them up. Mm. The taste is a match, so <laughs> we're gonna go with it. Look at her, y'all. <laughs> she's over here respecting me. She's a she's a real fried plantain connoisseur. <laughs> she's making sure I got her right. <laughs> All right, so in order to put this on the plate, you're gonna find a little round scooper. This is like an old little ladle that I had. And then we're gonna go ahead and scoop this and put it on the plate. On the side, we can put our burro banana, the sweet version. It's gonna add a nice little touch to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and start our burro banana fries. Woo, banana fries, yep, you heard that right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off the same way that we did the other green bananas. We're gonna peel this, and then we're just gonna cut this into strips so it looks more like fries than those little round log things. So we're gonna leave those in the oven for about 20 minutes. You know they're ready when they're nice and soft. And we're gonna make some guacamole, of course. So I have two other ways to prepare burro bananas that are already on my channel that are amazing recipes. One is to use the right burro banana as like a slider, a bun, kind of like a sandwich. You can click the link in the description for the burro banana sliders below. And then I also have a raw burro banana rich age or porridge which is just blended up raw bro bananas with some other herb spices and coconut milk to get just a nice breakfast, a nice sweet breakfast for you. So you can check those links in the, in the description. And until then, we're gonna try, do a little taste test of what we have prepared today. I'm so excited. <laughs> As I was going along trying, I was just saying like, this food excites me. Like I'm so excited and I've eaten this food so much. So if y'all give this a try, I can almost guarantee that you're gonna be excited about it too. So without further ado, let's do. Giving thanks for life. So here we are with the first feast. This is a delicious dinner. Let's give it a try. Watch when you cut through. Ooh. <laughs> it gets me every time. Mmm! So legendary. Mmm! <laughs> the flavors are... <laughs> I can't even describe it. Y'all gotta go try this. The sweet here, the savory with that nice texture of the, the burro banana is amazing. And then here we go, we got our burro banana fries. They, they look exactly like fries, they dip like fries, they taste like fries, this is so amazing. Mm. These Intaro fries are my favorite. This is a nice simple guacamole. Avocados mashed up with some salt. And you're good, you're blessed. This is a beautiful feast. So give thanks for tuning in, y'all. There you go. Y'all understand why I love burro bananas. You know how to pick them, you know how to peel them, you know how to cook them, prepare them. Y'all basically burrow banana masters. So go ahead, go find you some burrow bananas at your local grocery shop and go experiment. Go try some of these recipes. Make sure you tag me at akimo.therapy on Instagram or comment below if you actually made this one of these feasts and go have fun, go enjoy, go explore these new recipes, these new foods and just go take advantage of all nature has to offer us. 
So that's it for today, y'all. I'm giving thanks once again for tuning in. So much love for y'all. So much love for the support. We move it. I'm so grateful. Thank y'all so much. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Ja! Rastafero. Mm -hmm.